Hello, today we're looking at the reaction of acids with metals for the higher tier. Now, we've got a kind of general equation here, so it shows us that metal plus acid, and we must remember it's not all metals, uh, some metals like gold won't uh, react, but some metals plus acid will give us something called salt and hydrogen gas. So we can take a look at one example, we've uh, had a look at this previously, but here we've got magnesium reacting with acid and one example of this could be for example uh, sulfuric acid but it reacts in this way and you can see it's fizzing away as it reacts and it gives off hydrogen gas as it does so and it forms a salt so here's that diagram to remind us what's going on a little photograph um, but the reaction there is magnesium plus sulfuric acid there's the sulfuric acid um, gives us a salt, which is sodium, sorry, magnesium sulfate, magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas. So there's something we need to remember in terms of how we know that it was a magnesium sulfate that was made. This in the little blue box you need to remember. So if we have sulfuric acid, the salt made will be a sulfate. So magnesium sulfate will be formed in this reaction. If it was hydrochloric acid, then the salt would be something chloride, which we're going to look at in a moment. So what we have is the symbol equation would be Mg plus H2SO4 would give MgSO4, magnesium sulfate, plus our hydrogen gas, which exists as H2. Now, we know from previously, we've looked at this before, that our sulfuric acid is in solution, so it will break down into hydrogen ions and sulfate ions, and the magnesium will also exist as magnesium ions in solution and sulfate ions in solution. So those will be ions in solution as a result of this reaction. Now, we can ignore the sulfate because that doesn't change when we write what's called our ionic equation. So we're just dealing with magnesium that's changed and hydrogen ions which have changed. So in other words, the changes in the ions. So you can see the ionic equation there below. So we can just uh, make a note that this is our ionic equation ionic equation and that tells us what happens to the ions that change so we've got magnesium atoms of the metal changing to magnesium ions by losing electrons and we've got hydrogen ions which gain electrons and become hydrogen gas or hydrogen molecules so we can write what's called our half equations so in this case we deal with magnesium first we can deal with magnesium first we've got magnesium which becomes magnesium ions and two electrons. Because magnesium has lost two electrons, this is how we write it. Magnesium becomes magnesium ions and two electrons. We need to describe whether this is a reduction or an oxidation. So you remember from the last video, oil rig, oxidation is loss of electrons. So as the magnesium has lost, ele lost electrons, this is oxidation. What happens to the hydrogen? Well, we start off with hydrogen ions. We've got two of them. We need to add electrons for them to become atoms and molecules. And there's our two electrons from our previous reaction of the metal. So hydrogen ions, two hydrogen ions plus two electrons gives us our H2, which is our hydrogen gas, which is given off. Now, as we know, reduction is gain of electrons. The hydrogen ions have gained electrons, so this is a reduction reaction. And as you can see, these two happen at the same time in this reaction. Oxidation and reduction happens at the same time. So we call this a special type of reaction. It's called a redox reaction because we've got reduction happening and oxidation happening and both of those happen at the same time. So we call that a redox reaction. Here we've got metal plus acid is salt and hydrogen again. This time we've got zinc plus hydrochloric acid gives zinc chloride plus hydrogen. Remember, hydrochloric acid will give a salt. That's a chloride in the little blue box there. Here's our uh, equation, our symbol equation. It needs to be balanced, so you can pause here and practice uh, balancing if you want to go, or have practice at one equation to balance if you want. But if not, the answer is two in front of the hydrochloric acid, in front of the HCl. Our ionic equation is like so. The chloride ions don't change. They stay in solution both before and after the reaction, so we don't deal with them in our ionic equation. But we do deal with the zinc, and we do deal with the hydrogen ions. So this is very similar to what we did previously. So if we deal with the zinc first, we've got zinc, which becomes zinc ions with the charge of two plus, and in addition, two electrons. Our two hydrogen ions become hydrogen 
atoms, and in fact a hydrogen molecule, by gaining two electrons. So the top one was the oxidation. Oxidation is loss of electrons, and the second one was reduction. For our last example, what we're going to do is just have a look at this balanced equation with the state symbols and try and figure out which components have been oxidized and which components have been reduced. So to let you know, iron ions, Fe ions, are Fe2+, and sulfate ions, written as SO4, are SO4 2 minus. So that's the ions. Now, we know that in our sulfuric acid and our iron sulfate, that the ions are in solution. So we're going to have two hydrogen ions for the acid and sulfate ions. And then we're going to have ion, iron ions, iron ions and sulfate ions in solution. They're going to be separated out from each other. Nothing happens to the sulfate in terms of change from iron to atom or anything like that, but we do have a change with the iron and the iron becomes the metal, or goes from the metal to becoming iron ions, I'm tired of saying that, iron ions, and two electrons, and the two hydrogen gains two electrons and becomes hydrogen gas. So just like previously, the top one is oxidation, the bottom one is a reduction, and so it's a redox reaction. We say the iron therefore is oxidized, and the hydrogen has been reduced. So this is another example of a redox reaction. Okay, so um, quite a lot to go through it, go through there really. Um, if you are not quite sure about what's going on in some of the details, it's probably worth looking at the video previous to this. This explains it in slightly more detail, but hopefully this made some kind of sense. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.